I want Canada to give me asylum. Those words posted overnight on the Twitter account of an 18-year-old Saudi woman now in Thailand who says she fled her abusive family, fearing for her life. The United Nations Refugee Agency saying today the teen is safe as her plight posted on social media continues to gain international attention. But as for where she could end up next so far, that is not clear. Currently, she is in Bangkok in Thailand at a safe place. Uh, the process uh, to look into her asylum claim has started. My name is Rahaf uh, and I'm still in the room. Rahaf Mohammed al Kanun had barricaded herself inside a Thai airport hotel room after arriving in Bangkok over the weekend until mm -hmm. Thai officials reversed their plan to send the 18-year-old back to her family. Her plea for asylum playing out in real time on Twitter and going viral. Her Twitter account gaining tens of thousands of followers in just days. And the hashtag Save Rahaf now widely shared. The case shedding new light on Saudi Arabia's strict social rules that include requiring women to have permission of a male guardian to travel, which advocates say can trap women in abusive situations. And the country's human rights record recently coming under renewed scrutiny after the killing of writer Jamal Khashoggi, a critic of the kingdom, who was murdered in the Saudi consulate in Istanbul in October. While the UN is processing Kanun's application for refugee status, a step that's required before she can seek asylum in a third country, the woman's Twitter account has retweeted a number of posts from supporters urging the Canadian government to give her refuge. Among them, the Canadian wife of jailed Saudi blogger Raif Badawi, who tweeted, Rahaf Mohammed deserves asylum in my great country, Canada. We reached out to Global Affairs Canada for an update on the case today. A spokesperson tells us their previously released statement still stands, saying Canada is very concerned by and watching closely the situation of Ms. Rahaf al Kanun. We are in close contact with partners about her situation. Canada will always stand up for human rights, very much including women's rights. There are also calls from people in Australia and the UK to accept the Saudi woman. Now, there is another Canadian connection. On the 18-year-old's Twitter page, there are three people identified as Canoon's friends who say they're updating her Twitter account for her sometimes, including one person described as Eros in Canada. Now, a Twitter user who describes themselves as that person, as Canoon's friend, says they've gotten to know Canoon online over the past year or so, and that right now Canoon is waiting to be transferred. Now, I asked this friend if they have a message to share, and she said yes to women in places like Saudi Arabia. She says the following in part, be aware of your rights and fight for it. Be united so no one can defeat you. You are equal to men and not less.